Hendrik here from Orchestral Tools with the very first look on the mixer of the Zion player. When it comes to the mixer, there are two modes. And the first one is the mixer view. Um, that's the one that loads uh, when you click on mixer. And then there is another micro mode view, which I will explain later. So we have four loaded instruments and therefore we see four different channels. Uh, when I move one of those sliders, I change the main volume of the corresponding instrument and then it also reacts to CC7. So uh, when I move the volume fader on my MIDI controller, it changes here. With expanding one of those channel strips, I get individual channels of all the available microphone positions of that instrument. So I can change its volume, I can change the pan, or I can even decide uh, which ones I would like to load. With activating more microphone positions, of course there are more voices that will be played, the memory usage goes up, and um, there is generally a higher system load. Up and until now, to save system resources, you probably limit yourself to just one or two microphone positions. But this limitation is an issue when it comes to mixing and sound shaping options, especially when using our collections. The Taldex scoring stage offers so many different colors and perspectives to the instruments you put into it, and uh, therefore we tried to capture all of those colors. You as a user get access to all of those via our different microphone positions we offer. And therefore you can go from super dry to very ambient. So limiting yourself just for system resources is a burden and I think it also reflects to the end product. But this is over now. The new sign player introduces mic merging. I do my mix, change the pan settings and volume relations and then I click on the mic merge button. You name your mix and the sign player does a mix down of all the samples. Uh, this new microphone positions, by the way, will really be printed to your disc. Now I use all the variety of the different microphone positions for the footprint of a single one. It's a feature I dreamed of for years and I'm super excited. It is here now, finally, in the sign player. Now let's switch to the mic remote view. This is another workflow enhancement that will greatly speed up your setup time and it is designed to give you more control over your mixer channels. With uh, this feature it is now easier and faster than ever to set up your outputs of all loaded instruments. For example, Tree controls all the three microphone positions of all loaded instruments. So when I change the output to 3-4, for example, it will be done for all the three microphone positions. Now let's go back to the mixer view. Um, as you can see, the three channels are set to output 3-4. It's the same like we set up in the mic remote view. Now the same for the volume, pan and all the mixer relevant options. That's the powerful mixer of the Sign player. Thank you very much for watching this episode and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated with the upcoming videos for the Sign player and also visit our new website at getsign.com.